So this idea has been in the works for a really, really long time now, but I have just been putting it off and then Miss Budget Beauty talked about her favourites and I thought, why have I not filmed mine yet? For some reason I was sure I had already filmed it and then I realised maybe I had, but I had deleted it. So. We're here refilming this and I'm going to talk to you today about different products to brighten your skin and this is something that I really, really struggle with. I suffer from very dull skin, I get a lot of um, pigmentation and my skin just generally doesn't look kind of very glowy and full of life in its natural state. Um, and I do very much rely on products and makeup to kind of achieve that glowing skin look because I absolutely love that look. So I've got a couple of products here that I think are really effective, some that aren't, and I'm just going to talk to you about the basic idea behind these brightening products. So a lot of them contain AHAs, which are alpha hydroxy acids, um, some of them contain lactic acids, different versions of kind of mild forms of exfoliants, chemical exfoliants rather than manual exfoliants. So some can be kind of more harsh, some can be very gentle, and I'm just going to talk you through the first set, which are cleansers. Now, the first one right here I've got is the Boots Botanics Cleansing Foam Wash, which looks like this. This is part of their All Bright range, and I've got the toner I'm going to talk about as well. But this is not a particularly um, brightening product in that you'll notice a big difference. It's just a foam wash, and I have been trying to kind of stay clear of these lately because my skin's been a little bit dry. So I haven't been using this lately, but it has ingredients in it that will help to brighten your skin. So it kind of claims that it has hibiscus and different types of um, la um, lactic acid and things like that. And I'm just looking at the ingredients list here. And hibiscus flower extract, which is supposed to be very brightening, but it also has sulfates in which um, when my skin is dry, I try and avoid. But this is a very kind of nice, um, if you've got a nice skin and you just want something that's a little bit brightening, that kind of will give your skin that kind of nice, sheen it does do that but it's very very mild and then the toner for that is a product that i've used for a really long time and i've loved i have stopped using it at the moment just because as i said my skin has been really dry and i've noticed that when i use products that have alcohol in them it makes my skin a little bit more red my skin looks more even in tone when i don't so i've stopped using this i'm only using this twice a week at the moment and this is the botanics cleansing toner all bright really lovely i've used this tons it is just very refreshing and very nice. It does make your skin kind of just look very clean and fresh, but it does kind of give me a little bit of redness in my skin when I use it all the time, so I'm not using this all the time. I've kind of really made my skincare a bit more gentle because I've been having a lot of dryness. But this is a really, really great product, and both of those are fantastic value for money. Miss Budget Beauty always talks about this being the dupe for the Pixi Glow Tonic. I haven't used that purely because I can't get hold of it, but really, really like this. And then two cleansers that are really great. The first one is the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Cleanser. And this has got 2% glycolic acid in it and it looks like this. The jewelry's still out on this one because I feel like it does really smooth your skin but it doesn't make it appear brighter. So in appearance it doesn't look brighter but it kind of just feels smoother. It smells really lovely this actually. It's got kind of like a it smells like bitter lemon, you almost want to drink it, it just smells really fresh. But a really nice product, I'm just not sure. I always feel with these types of products, I'm expecting much more of a dramatic result than they provide. And you have got to remember that, you know, this isn't like going to a um, doctor and getting like a chemical peel. They are going to be kind of mild results, but it is nice. And then the infamous Peaches and Clean by Soap and Glory. This has kind of stopped working on me. I did used to really, really find this effective and it really smoothed my skin down. My skin's kind of gotten used to it now and it doesn't react in the same way, but this is a great kind of smoothing product and it does really make your skin look brighter. And then I've got a couple of face masks, which are the same, kind of under the same premises. So face masks, the exfoliate your skin chemically rather than manually are really nice because they kind of give you that really fresh smooth um, skin. So this one right here is my least favourite and it's the Dr. Darren Mikon, um, I can't remember the full name of this, it's the, oh, the Trimineral Microdermabrasion Mask. And this is kind of like a combo, it's got acids in it and it's also got little granules so you can kind of um, exfoliate but it's very very mild, you can see here, very mild and this would be good if you have got slightly sensitive skin. For me this just isn't active enough, it doesn't really do that much for my skin but if I just want kind of like a midweek um, pick me up and I'm not kind of planning on doing a whole facial, I'll use this because it does give a nice kind of smooth result but it's not heavy duty. 
the two that are pretty heavy duty. I'll start with the most heavy duty one first. This is the Miryumar, I can't pronounce this for the life of me. It's the Skin Brightening Exfoliating Peel. And it's a gel, a clear gel. You put it all over your face, it tingles, and then you wash it off and your skin looks a little bit red and it feels really smooth and lovely. This is very active. I wouldn't use this all the time, probably only use this like two times a month, something like that. But it's very, very effective. And if you kind of want your skin to feel very, very smooth, this is great. And then the infamous um, Ren Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask, which everybody loves. I really like this. It's very expensive, but it does, um, it's a nice experience. So you kind of layer it on, it smells lovely. It kind of smells like oranges, sweet oranges. A lot of people say it smells like Marmite, but I don't know. I've just realised they don't mean Marmite, do they? They probably mean Marmalade. How, um, how stupid of me to just realise that. Okay. So yeah, um, it smells like oranges anyway, and you smooth it all over your face, leave it on for like 10 minutes, it tingles slightly, and then you take it off with a muslin cloth, really brightens your skin, and it's just a very nice experience to use. I love all of Ren products, to be honest, I've not used a single Ren product that I've disliked, but I really, really do like this a lot. So those are my kind of top brightening products. I'd love to know your favourites. As I said, I haven't tried the Pixi Glow Tonic, and... Um, I am still on the search for something that's going to give me that really bright, lovely complexion. In terms of an everyday cleanser, I still haven't, I don't feel like I've found that. So if you've got any finds, definitely, definitely let me know. Not anything too expensive because I don't like spending a lot of money on cleansers, but something that you think is really great, I'd love to know. And I will put everything in the down bar that I've talked about, and I'll see you in my next video.